love telling stories. It always reminds me of when I was a, a young'un, a little one, about, okay, I was big, I was about that tall. <laughs> so here's a story about shapeshifters. Transformers slash shapeshifters have got special powers, we all know that. And this is a story about a coyote and his two brothers and his nephew and his grandmother who lived in the, the Shushwap area. His name was Klisa. Now, Klisa's grandmother had the knowledge to teach Klisa how to defeat the cannibals, man-eaters, carnivores that were hurting the Shushwap people. And she said, well, I'll teach you this, but only if you do good and only if you go and defeat the cannibals, which she agreed to. But this was life-threatening, so it was dangerous, but he agreed to do it. So he set off on his journey with his, with his two brothers, and they came to their first location on their journey called Hoffman's Bluff. And when they were there, they saw man-eating rats <laughs> and marmots, and they changed them into rabbits and deers. So they, so they changed them from something harmful to something helpful to the Shushwap. And then they went to their, their next location, and they came across a rattlesnake woman. Now, Rattlesnake Woman had rattlesnakes coming out of her eyes, out of her ears, and out of her mouth. And, and she would kill people. She poisoned people. Well, Kalisa figured this out. He gave her pine cones. Pine cones and pine needles because they have turpentine in them. And turpentine poisoned the rattlesnakes. And that took care of Rattlesnake Woman. So now, there was just a little hitch in this story. And that's that grandmother told him how to defeat all of these people that were being harmful to the Shushua, but she forgot to tell him about the chipmunk girl who was on a vision quest. And if he looked at her, the chipmunk girl straight in the eye, they were gonna get turned to stone. So. She told the nephew, and the nephew went off and found the three brothers, but he was at the bottom of valley. They were at the top, and they didn't recognize him to be the nephew, so they pushed rocks over the side in hopes of scaring him. But when he didn't die, when he didn't run away, they got curious, and they went down to see who it was, and they found out it was their nephew, and they celebrated, and the nephew told them that he was there to bring them food and a message, but he forgot to give them the message. So when they got to the Fraser River, Chipmunk Girl was on the other side, and she started to swim across. And they were watching her, and all of a sudden, she looked at them, and they turned to stone. All of them. Chipmunk Girl, the nephew, and the three brothers. So now, there are five stone pillars. Chipmunk Girl on one side, and the other four on the other. And it marks the boundary, to this day, between the Shushwap and the Lillooet Nation. Next time on Red Earth Uncovered. Coyote was the one who brought the salmon up the Fraser and Thompson River, and then he taught the people how to fish, and he taught them so many things. You know, the, the stories and the language they, they all come from, from this land, if you hear any of our stories. Not all balancing rocks are boundary markers, but the stories attached to them indicate, and who owns that story indicates who owns the land. <laughs>